Day 87 of the schoolie swarm. The sand has set in. If you try to keep your rig clean here, you're gonna have a, a hard time. Yeah. Tons of fun and tons of sand. But all joking aside, we are having a great time. It's a little on the warm side, but it could be worse. It could be sleeting or snowy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the red It's always good when everybody's terrified of the giant speaker. I didn't know what it was. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, yo, yeah. Whoa, look on, at man. this build. Wow. Come on in, bro. Good two month build. Can you get that door closed, bro? Why not? Oh, look at the floors in here. Yeah. What do you need, man? Do you see how hostile these people here? They force me into their van. They force me into their school buses. And they're so incredibly friendly. It's really an awesome experience here. There we go. It really is. Yeah, this is like nothing else. Man. Check it out. Yeah, it's I'd love to check it out. We're at a place called Cobtown Eckers in Georgia. Yeah. It's a do-it-yourself mechanic shop. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been there for about two months getting this thing renovated. It was partially done when we got it. It's like the floor was already done. The floor was done. Um, this is a futon that converts. I just recently got, this thing's looking real good right here. Has a really neat slide mechanism in it to where you can get your foot steel up nice and easy. That's a abracadabra right there. <laughs> in this kind of lifestyle, you really got to put things up that are going to be multi-purpose. Yeah. Um, the, uh, Things Dad. like this, this can drawer here, Dad, right? You want to have something like this rocking, so you're not taking a bath. Well, hold on a minute, Sola. Um, then you want to also you have your electric and your propane stoves, so water filters, plenty of rooms for games and art supplies all around. I like to have my music makers over here. Um, coming up into the side, another thing we got that's really nice is all the drawers have. A pressure fitting so you have to pull hard mm -hmm. so when you're down the road not as many things come out tractable garbage cans nice to have um, still working on things like the trim but skylights I also love put in a uh, a slide pocket door that moves real easy um, full flushing toilet instead of going with a standard faucet we decided to go with a very long shower cord so that on those days when the kids are really dirty, mm -hmm. instead of them coming in the house, I can just hand this to them out the window mm -hmm. and tell them, get clean first, guys. Oh, well, that's a great idea. Right? That's remarkable, I know. Also, <laughs> you're in here, you're like, wait, I need more water for my perky. Here. Oh, there you go. Let me perky it up, you know? So that's, that's that right there, little things like this. You always got to think outside the box when you're living here in a, in a in a bus. There's so many little things that I'm always thinking, okay, how's this going to better my life? How's that going to better my life? And I've seen a lot of different builds. I wanted one that without having to change the structure and without having to take away the integrity of the roof to give it a good open feel and a livable area where you could have multiple adults sitting here telling stories, having a good time and enjoying their life together. So that's really what this is all about as adventuring. Nope. All right, coming into the back here. Having three kids on board. Want to make sure that we uh, we have a space for each of them, right? That they can do what they love. So we got. Um, I put I carpeted this one up here for my little hunter to be. He's got all his different things that he loves, his RC cars, and all his stuff is over here. Backpacks with adventuring. Um, for the teenager that needs his space and privacy, I thought, why not go with a nice sleek 
blacked out look. Got a fan in here so you're always refreshed. Right? Nice cool black design. And then uh, for the pretty princess, she's also got all of so many stuffed toys and pillows that even when I crawl in here, I'm in comfort land. <laughs> I felt like a princess the other night when I woke up here. Still things working on. These doors are going to be in here. These doors were sanded, stained, wash stained. The color was made with the spray paint that we had to give it this teal and to bring out these oranges. That's something that, uh, that my girl Nikki's been doing. She takes a, a good attention to all the design there. Um, I wanted to do a Murphy bed, but the Murphy bed was not as easy for a, a, a place like this because it, uh, it, it would, wouldn't have really worked out with the, the height for the ceiling. So I thought, how can I get a Murphy bed design in here? And, uh, and you know, this was about the best thing that came to my mind was to use an old deer pulley and just kind of lift the mattress here a little bit when you pull it out. And, and bam, now you're sitting on a queen side just like that. And then when you want to break it down in the morning, all you do is pull it up and it's got an assisted pulley. You just give it a couple of couple of snugs and you're right there. So that one came together real well. Um, put the bed here mainly for the comfort of being able to get out in the morning. I like to be able to open my door first thing and feel a breeze. And on those days when I'm really stressing out, I can just do one of these boots. And now, boom, just like that. We're hanging out on the roof, catching a better view. Realizing why we're out here living like this. Awesome. For sure. Another cool one. Very super cool. They get more and more interesting the further we go along. I mean, look at the view here. It's amazing. Yeah, if you hear about anybody trying to finish up their builds uh, on the road, it's hard to find a place to park a school bus. We're at a place in Cobtown, Georgia called Cobtown Acres. You can find us on Facebook. They have enough room for two buses at a time in the outdoor bus hangar. There's welders, vices. Um, and on pretty much all the all the tools you really need to build your bus plus there's a lot of people there that have knowledge in things like solar and plumbing and builds like this so I have a second bus parked there right now that I'm slowly renovating so that after a journey I can probably sell off this one to another family that's wants one that's ready to ready to roll and then I'll have a next one to roll for our family cool well, again, thank you so much for showing me your rig. It's really super special. And don't forget to check him out on Facebook. Thank you, guys. World's largest subwoofer. Unnecessary bass. Endless fun, endless fun here. Great people, interesting ideas. Schoolie Swarm 2022.